We know that deforestation is a major contributing factor to the climate crisis. By clearing land for the resources, for agricultural land space and for infrastructure expansion, amongst other things, we are wiping out hugely helpful environmental aids. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three forest discoveries. Scientists' warning to humanity on tree extinction Deforestation threatens our planets in many ways. Though when it reaches these new heights, we have a much bigger cause for concern. The loss of our tree population results in flooding, fewer crops, and a whole host of other complex sociological and environmental problems. But what happens when the trees become extinct? The climate crisis certainly isn't news to us, but there has been a new cautionary tale shared. Scientists have revealed that 33% of all the species of trees on Earth are facing extinction. Following the collection of this data, the team issued a warning to humanity, letting us know just how dire this situation is. The extinction of a third of the world's tree species means 17,510 species will be facing these threats. What exactly will happen when we lose these trees? A large portion of the animal kingdom and the plant world are dependent on trees to form their habitats. In fact, a total of 50% of the animal and plant species that we know of need these trees to survive. Not only could we see the knock-on threat to other living beings, but the forests also account for half of the world's carbon storage and three-quarters of the accessible fresh water we have in the world. One conservation biologist, Malin Rivers, who works with Botanic Gardens Conservation International, said in an interview with Nature World News, habitat loss is frequently tree loss. It is at the root of that when we look at extinction concerns for animals and birds. It's clear that without protecting the trees, animals are losing their shelters and homes, their protection making them far more vulnerable too. The loss of our trees also means the loss of our birds, insects, plants, fungi and even tiny microorganisms. What's more is that in an interview with The Guardian, Rivers had explained how a more diverse forest will have a greater capacity for storing more carbon than a monoculture, where there is very little variation in the environment. Rivers continued to discuss how these same benefits of diversity are applicable beyond the storing of carbon. Other ecological functions are reliant on and improved upon by increased diversity. Increased diversity in the species of trees in our forests in turn means greater soil stabilization, better resilience towards diseases, and a greater strength to withhold harsh weather conditions. On a more selfish note, humans use trees too. They help to provide food security, shelter, improve air quality, amongst other socio-economic benefits that come as a result of various trees. The forests of the world bring in $1.3 trillion to the global economy, from the most valued timber to fruits, nuts, and even medicine. We have already lost more than 100 tree species, but a third of the total species facing threats is truly frightening. This latest research paper has called for a number of urgent actions to be taken, addressing those capable of implementing policies as they desperately aim to steer us clear of the imminent disaster should we lose this many tree species. The Brazilian Amazon is burning again. 2021 saw a huge number of wildfires, with wildfire season typically falling between June and August. Our news screens were filled with reports of the forests coming down. Experts anticipated a dangerous and frightening fire season thanks to a partially dry year, though nothing quite prepared us for the flames spreading through our forests. Unfortunately, the Brazilian Amazon was not spared in this flurry of flames. By June 3rd, in only a matter of weeks, there had been nine significant fires reported in the Brazilian Amazon, the first of which was on May 19, 2021. All nine of these particularly major fires took place by the border of Cerro Ricardo France State Park in Mato Grosso. The Amazon Conservation Association's monitoring of the Andean Amazon Project, or MAP, is what has allowed us to pinpoint the location finding the affected area to be along the edge of the Amazon. The fires spread for an average of 494 acres. For reference, this is roughly the size of Monaco. Marcelo Salucci, a meteorologist who works in the Disaster Monitoring Center of Brazil's National Space Research Institute, 
explained that the rainy season, which was over by the time the fires began, was not a good one. With minimal rain, we can anticipate that the fire season would have been bad. Each fire was on land that had been deforested in 2020, emphasizing the clear correlation between deforestation and the increase in wildfires. We need to be aware of the impact our actions are having upon the world around us. Deforestation is damaging enough to our environment, removing carbon stores and releasing greenhouse gases, but for these areas to then be more vulnerable to wildfires is far more damaging than the initial deforestation might indicate. Matt Finer, a senior research specialist and director of MAP, described this as a very strong link. Expanding upon this by saying it's not a wildfire problem every year, it's a deforestation followed by a fire problem every year. The forest is often cut during the wet season, which falls from December through to April, before it is then burned throughout not just wildfire season, but the dry season from May to October. This is a favorable system for those looking to take advantage of the deforestation, those looking to convert their land to agricultural purposes for farmers and for land grabbers, people looking to unlawfully seize land. This pattern of deforestation then being followed by excessive wildfires is clearly evidenced through satellite images. 2020 saw staggering statistics for the Amazon rainforest, with more than 2,500 major fires tearing through the forest. Fires don't naturally occur in the area, as the conditions are not right. We need a dry year, and something to initially start the fire. More often than not, the fires are the result of human fires, whether it is an agricultural fire that has spiralled away after being poorly controlled, or people specifically trying to clear the land and so starting a fire to do so. Researchers have estimated that 5.4 million acres of the Brazilian Amazon's rainforest was burned in 2020, spanning roughly the size of the country of Wales. Ocean forests found twice the size of India We are all familiar with the treetop canopies up above the surface, but what you might be less aware of are the underwater forest worlds, some of which are truly thriving. When we look below the surface, we see a great stretch of forests, made of vast depths of kelp and seaweed. More recently, we have uncovered that these underwater wonderlands are much bigger and span far further than we ever realized. Few of these underwater forests even have names. These wonderful forests have created beautiful homes for marine life, helping to protect many species lying under the sea. One of these underwater forests is the Great African Sea Forest, which sits just off the southern coastline of Africa, and another is the Great Southern Reef, following the south of Australia. These are just a couple of the sea forests which we have named, but so many more stretch beneath the surface of the oceans. It is this new research that has shed a light on just how impressive these kelp and seaweed worlds are, even revealing some are more than twice the size of India. However, these underwater sea forests do indeed have something in common with those upon the surface. They too are struggling as a result of climate change and marine heat waves. Unlocking the knowledge of more plants that could quickly grow and store carbon could be a huge way to help combat the climate crisis. They are formed mostly of seaweeds, which are one type of algae. Just like the plants upon the surface, they grow through photosynthesis, converting the sunlight into energy whilst also taking in and storing some carbon dioxide. As far as we are aware, seaweed is one of the fastest growing plants on the planet. However, we are not able to measure these spaces with satellites thanks to the depths that these forests reach down to. Instead, research primarily uses underwater records spanning scientific journals, reports and other literature. Even without easy access to global records, we are still able to develop our understanding of these areas and the good they are doing for our planet. But what do you make of these forest discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.